Welcome to New Atlantis, a massive metropolis sprawling over the coastline of an island in the middle of the Viridian Ocean. People from every background and way of life can be found among the city's 9.5 million citizens. A contradictory combination of good, evil, dark, light, past mistakes and the promise of change, New Atlantis is the hub for all things super. Ever since the 1930s, the city has been the epicenter of heroes and villains alike. Three generations of supers have now called New Atlantis their home, each causing the city to adapt to a new way of life. A fourth generation of heroes must prove themselves worthy as New Atlantis welcomes these young supers with skepticism. Fortunately, or unfortunately for them, forces beyond their knowledge have set plans in motion thrusting five of these would-be heroes into the crossfire forcing them to decide if they'll be the heroes the city expects them to be, or failures that'll soon be forgotten. Supers? are a dime a dozen here in New Atlantis. And good for less. For every success story, there's at least five failed capes who hit a brick wall on their path to greatness. My parents were counted among those failures before they died, and they left behind a failure son. I was five, getting kicked from place to place by relatives who didn't want a failure. I wasn't taken in until my uncle opened his home and his heart to me. But like all that was my life, this was never going to last, as the failure to end all super failures, the one and only Golden Prophet, more like the Golden Fuck Up, resulted in my only family left being left in a coma. The only option for a failure son was the streets. Homeless and desperate. I did a lot of things I'm not too proud of looking back on just to survive. And I fell down some terribly dark holes. But some people helped me pull myself out and I'm doing everything I can to stay that way. The powers have been helping, at least in the keeping me housed department. I can create illusions that fool the eye and the ear. It lets me do a little Robin Hood action to appropriate from some corrupt suits to keep the lights on. I even decided to don a mask. Help out the city a bit. And of course, my very first superhero save and some cape with a stick up his ass comes up calls me a Nancy boy, and takes credit for my work. <laughs> Fine by me. Negative Nancy here will be a constant reminder to those vain glorious capes that they aren't so high and mighty. I'll outsmart the bad guys and make them look like a bunch of clowns in the end. <laughs> well, only if my team gets their act together. There's the small one. Weeping Willow, mistress of destroying school plumbing, who definitely doesn't have her powers of hydrokinesis under control. There's Manser, a friend who can travel between dimensions and create psychic constructs, and doesn't know if her next jump is gonna let her come back home. There's the Golden Retriever, Argonaut, tall, fast, strong, stupidly gorgeous. I hate him whose golden family I'm worried will fuck this up more than I'm worried about him doing so. And finally, Buckler. A man of way too many secrets and way too shiny of armor. I'm not the leader. I'm just the failure who always has a smart plan. Oh boy. We may just be screwed. Well, 
Good thing they've got me around to always make every mistake look like a flawlessly executed plan. Hey, what are illusions good for if not for making you look really good? Okay, um, okay, here we go. I, Jason Damick, what's that? But Dad, that's not my real... No, no, I'm sorry, you're right. Um, okay, okay, I got this. I, Jason Theseus Damocles, son of Lord Trident, the next in line of the Pantheon superhero legacy, the new Argonaut. Pledge to be a paragon of courage, humility, perseverance, sacrifice, and responsibility. As the new wielder of the Argo, I promise to devote my life to protect and serve New Atlantis and the world. Rest easy, citizen. You are under my protection now. That is my oath. <sighs> How was that, Dad? Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah. Hey, um, Dad. So, like, now that the Argo has completely taken over my body, I'm super fast, and I have strength like you. Also, um, I feel like people look weirdly to me, like, even when I don't have the outfit on. But, 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 yeah, now that I have full powers... Can I, like, go on superhero missions without you or Mom or Agent Hal, like, on my own? Wait, really? You promise? Oh, ooh, also, actually, I, I was thinking maybe I could be, like, in my own team with, with my friends that I fought those aliens at the school with. Oh, yeah, okay, so, okay, so, there is Karai. She's my friend from the drama club. Oh, yes, I'm in the drama club. No, 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 it's not serious. But yeah, she has these crazy water control powers that can even blow up vents. And then there's this, there's Jojo, who I think has these powers of traveling between worlds. And I think she lives in the school basement, but like, um, okay. And my friend Jack, who has these super great thing that he does that can change the way things look like. And, um, oh, oh, also, Dad... I know you said my brother isn't allowed to fight crime, but he sent me, and, and I think you should really allow him to be, uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I won't bring it up again, I, I know he's a mortal, yes, no, I, I know you didn't mean to yell, so, sorry. Yeah, I'll be out of the studio in a minute, just want to sit here for a second. <laughs> Okay, Jason. Okay. You got this. This is what we trained for. We even have a superhero team now. It's time to show New Atlantis what you are made of. Maybe once you prove yourself, Dad will listen and you can get Annie and have an active role. And he will be happy again and not hate you. <laughs> okay, Jason. Argo chose you for a reason. Let's prove it right become the greatest hero ever like mom and dad and grandpa and nana and i mean what's the worst that could happen you, you go crazy and rogue like uncle victor and turn into a bloody bloodthirsty supervillain killing thousands <laughs> yeah hey dad w what does it mean when the red light is blinking on the microphone what oh Shit. Aeneas Damocles Self-Evaluation Log, Day 1957 Greetings, Self-Evaluation Log. As a note for posterity, the personification of this log is purely an experimental measure as I observed such idiosyncrasies in popular film media. As a thorough inspection of the previous 1,956 self-evaluation logs would suggest, I am not typically aware of trends in popular film media. The reasoning for this newfound base of knowledge is in fact a peer at New Atlantis Founders Academy, JoJo. 
She has pointed out that I may not have developed an excess of social skills in my time away training. Not that she knows that I have spent the past 1,957 days training. I have begun measures to rectify this and shall record the results in upcoming self-evaluation logs. On to the relevant events of today. At New Atlantis Founders Academy, I disobeyed the current protocol for fire drills following JoJo as there appeared to be cause for concern. We then found Jack, a senior peer with the power of illusion, and after some heated discourse we ran into both Karai, an individual with at least a 7.3 on the vent power feedback scale, and my younger brother. After a brief altercation with the creature which seemed to be which of course raises many questions about that foe. Please refer to the combat log in log section C for further details, although for further relevancy in this log it should be noted that I did in fact save my younger brother from harm during this battle. After the altercation we were accosted by the principal for our many rules and fractions. Due to tensions between myself and my biological parents, I have been banned from outwardly helping this group of individuals which shall make my mask in secret identity of higher than average use. Note: Current section of self-evaluation log shall be stricken from official record. Ever since the Golden Prophet approached me for a specialized training program, I have not thought about the events of five years ago much. Since my return to the Damocles household, I have been confronted with my failure practically daily. Due to observations from self-evaluation logs 1867 and 1956, I believe that I may have lost my opportunity to feel... super. Despite my superhuman ability, I have not once observed a sense of true power in a self-evaluation log. It is in these moments that I experience what I believe is a deep gratitude towards the Golden Prophet, as I have notated significant increases to my physical abilities since beginning her training. Is that fact that only further complicates my theft from her today with Jack, and the lies I'm sure have only begun to tell her about it. While I cannot deny being heavily in debt to the Golden Prophet, I am unaware whether I would enjoy being beholden to her. Good night, self-evaluation log. Hey everyone, Karai here. Uh, full disclaimer, I hate talking about myself, so some things about me, I guess. I'm, I'm 15 years old, honor student. Um, I got into my current institution of education thanks to me being smart. I guess I have to talk about the things that I'm capable of doing with my powers. That's complicated. I, I I don't I don't mean to be vague on purpose. Just that I'm vague because I don't fully understand what I'm capable of yet, and my capabilities have been frightened me. It all started when I was 11, and I got upset over something I don't even remember. I started to get really upset and get heated, and then all of the open water around me also got heated to the point of boiling. And I killed my goldfish. He was um, he was a good fish. His his, his name was Silverbolt, and I know that's very strange because goldfish or gold, but he was like a gray goldfish, so I called him Silverbolt. That's not the scary part of my ability. The scary part was when my mom came into the room. She's fine. Uh, um, she's alive. She just doesn't live with my dad and me anymore. We're kind of on our own, and I gotta take care of him. But, yeah, speaking of the superhero thing, I kinda did this thing in the school the other day. There's these shadows in the basement of our school and I was down there with 
um, I guess a bunch of other kids that were also supers. The, um, obviously the one was Jason. Jason. He doesn't know this, but I almost hurt him really bad one time. And that's how I found out that he was who he was, because he was able to, like, not have his body boil from the inside out. Anyway, uh, I... Jason and I, and, um... That one kid that I think does dope, and Jason's brother, and the other kid that lives in the basement. I don't remember their names. They don't ask my name, so I don't ask their name. Anyway, we were all down there in the basement, and uh, there was these shadow things, and so I decided to go ahead and throw the boiler at them. I mean, it worked. But the basement started to flood. I tried to stop it by slowing down the water molecules to make it slow slow freeze it like that's that's how that works that's that's science and the whole sewage system in this school blew up yeah the whole the whole it it, it blew up and um i i hmm, hmm, yeah you know i think the i think the girl that lives in the basement is mad about it because something broke but the thing is it's like I didn't know everything was gonna break um, but everything broke and hi my name's Karai I kinda just wanna you know go to school and have people leave me alone but, but yeah so that's me um, I hope everyone um, I I'm done I, I don't what? No, no, I'm done. Hey! Hi, recorder. This will probably work better if I give you a name. Um... Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. It's me. Uh, Josephine- Jojo. <laughs> Everything I tell you has to stay here. I just need someone to talk to. So, of course, instead of talking to anyone else like a sane human being, I'm talking to my voice memo app. Uh, of course. What else? Um, age 17, grade 11, sex female, uh, favorite color, yellow. And secret number one is that I make art. Yeah, and I'm pretty good at it now. Started when I was a kid and ended up somewhere else for the first time. I wanted to get on paper what it looked like. Yeah, I guess that's secret too. Years ago, I, I had this crazy dream. I was running on a broken road and fighting monsters. I, I don't know how to describe it. And then I had more vivid dreams, one after the other. The really crazy thing, though, is that I started running into people from my dreams in real life and just... It was like I knew them. And turns out, those weren't my dreams I was fighting in. It, it was theirs. I was fighting their inner demons. Their actual, literal inner demons. A few Google rabbit holes later and I found out there's this bonker psychological phenomenon that happens to some people and they have other people, uh, they're sometimes referred to as system mates, inside of them. But unlike dissociative identity disorder, it's not considered a mental illness by many medical professionals because it's not causing the person distress. They call them tulpas. <laughs> God, what a cool name, right? Of course, I can't tell my parents any of this. Exact quote from them. If God intended us to shape his world, he would have blessed all those of faith with this power. But he didn't. The supers are trying to play God. But if I'm seeing what's in people's heads and helping them, it can't be that bad, right? 
And then the places I ended up got weirder. The first one looked so off from anything I'd seen in the real world, I assumed it had to be a dream, but then I got hit. Hard. These were other worlds. Dimensions? Timelines? I, I don't know, but so many of them were destroyed. I've been doing everything I can to salvage what I can of the remains because, well, these could have been sprawling cultures left behind. It would be wrong not to keep something of them intact, right? Now that I've seen it up close, I think the destruction, it's being caused by something. I don't know by who or what or why it's happening, but I want to find out. Coach Melson and I just finished working on a device, a teleportal based on a design from her days as a super. The idea was that if I ended up in another world, we could use that to pull me back, and then freaking Karai exploded the entire sewage system in the school and busted the teleportal. Ugh, it took me forever to get those parts. So, step one, do the research. Step two, help get the school's artifact back. Step three, rebuild the teleportal. And step four, Figure out what's causing the destruction. And the most important step of all, make sure my parents don't find out. What I'm doing is wrong. But if I can help figure out what's causing the destruction, if there's any clue hidden in the artifacts, I have to try.
Hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, Hero Complex, a Nerdly Gaming's Mass the Next Generation show. Uh, currently, we're just waiting for our GM to come back, but she wanted us to get started without her anyway, so we're just going to go around the circle, introduce everybody, let us know who your characters are, and your one, the most important thing that happened to you last session, and we're going to start uh, counterclockwise today, and we're going to start over on my far left. He knows who he is, the Batman of this game. Well, not really, but still. His very first one. Oh no, hold on. The um, audio. We have to restart oh. everything. Sorry everyone, I did not unclick the muted button. That is my bad. I am very sorry about Thanks that. Thanks for letting us By know. By the way, Sanan, you are fading into the background very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so starting My from ghost. the top everyone we're waiting for our jam to come back but we wanted to get started with our intro so welcome to hero complex mass uh, mass new generation game presented to you by nerdly gaming and uh again we're just gonna start with batman over there he'll be he'll be going and let's go counterclockwise oh no sanan you left us uh, and okay now hey, turn your camera off for a second and then the, we'll come the, and the come gm back leaves for one second oh god <laughs> Karai, there wait, we go. wait, I'm sorry. Can this be the Karai Jason body swap episode, please? <laughs> please. Oh my gosh! If we power swap, just switch around the I cameras. Just, I heard body swap, and I'm just imagining like Karai's head on Jason's body, Ooh. and vice versa. Ooh. That was <laughs> terrifying me for a second. And, uh, see, I uh, was just thinking like pulling a Freaky Friday, but sure. That's no, don't do that. That's oh, so weird. My goodness. Anyways, uh, anywho, you start over there. Uh, Assuming no body swapping happens, hello everyone. I'm Robbie Rowling, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is that I am Aeneas Damocles. I'm the party's protege slash tech, tech support. Um, uh, and the most important thing that happened to Aeneas last episode is he had his first kiss when uh, he and Jack finally kissed um, in, in his uncle's supervillain lair with him kind of creepily watching anyway. Um, because he could see invisible stuff with his goggles, but it was still a wonderful little gaby moment. Uh, and then next up in the order, she knows who she is. Hi, my name's Narissa Hart. I play Josephine Jojo Vey, uh, also known as Manser, as a superhero. Um, and the biggest thing that happened last week uh, all had to do with finding out that her best friend slash hella gay crush um Lorelai not only was stolen by Awe one of the main villains uh and raised by her but that all of her memories from before she was seven were wiped and that her actual mother is the principal principal grand um along with like helping mercifully kill shock mm -hmm. so here we are before Anna gets back, please, someone, dear God. Hold on. Notions can confirm this for me. I am going to bring this up because I literally what? was about to be like, you mean Principal Grant? No, I said Grant. I said Grant this no, no, time. I know, Grant. I know, I know, it's I know. Grant. I said it right. No, you said it right. I think I have it wrong <laughs> in my head. <laughs> I finally did it right. Don't make me second guess it because now I'm never going to get it right again. You, you were right, Narissa. I was very wrong. I am so sorry. It's I just, funny. Because there's even an unexplored character who has mixed powers. I know. Uh, um, anyway, during our episode, during like our test play, but hasn't really been here much since. Anyway, sorry. So um, on to the man who's just returned from across the world. Uh, <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm the man who just t t t returned ac from across the world, and now, bound. and now, you know. Fading off to the background. Uh, invisible alien. Uh, You're becoming the superhero that you really are. <laughs> well, I'll take that. Uh, I play the, uh, the legacy of the group, Jason the Argonaut Damocles, and um, something that I bonded with a puppy. No, again, it was your super Argo. villain uncle's puppy, yeah. but you Actually, know. I, Come on, come on. Yeah, no, 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 go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, it's really funny that, you know, the second game you're on on Nerdly Gaming, you get a dog, or a dog likes you. 
It's, it's, it's a theme. Apparently, I'm a dog that, person. That's, that's your just get motif throughout all of Nerdy yeah. Gaming's games. You can always like, have a dog. There's a dog there. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Love dogs. Hey, you know what? Nothing wrong with loving a dog. Also, the dog was named after me, so it fit. It was supposed to be an insult, but jokes on them. <laughs> jokes on your. I don't like my uncle. name. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he feels so foolish. Oh, he, the, yeah. Shh. Embarrassed. Why are you fading? Are, do you have the green screen option? I up? think it might be all the sunlight so, he's getting. Yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll go in a second, probably. Yeah, we'll sure. See. Why not? Mm. We're, we're close to the equinox, everybody, so the days are going to be more evened out. Uh, however, we're on to uh, the raptor lady herself. Rawr. Um, Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Val. Val Jan here on the internet. I bring to you today uh, Karai Fujioko, also known as Weeping Willow, who is a quarter alien, apparently, but is your Nova, uh, who is essentially a beacon of energy that overrides the sun in order to control water. Um, and the thing that happened to them last time was important is they um, almost gave Lorelei a brain aneurysm, but didn't because I have really good control over my body um, and gave Jojo a butterfinger. Oh, there you go. Hey, listen. Yeah. Feed your friends. <laughs> Poor Narissa. <laughs> Narissa just needs super hard in the background. <laughs> I was like, oh God, is she crying? No, what's wrong? <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are so bad. So with the seasons, I'll suddenly get really sneezy and it suddenly turned to fall this week. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be sneezing a lot. So just assume that Jojo has similar afflictions of allergies. Yeah. Just if I randomly start fever. sneezing, I'm going to be sniffling so much. I'm so sorry. No, you're sorry perfectly you're fine. Good. And hi, everybody. I'm the one and only party time. Uh, and I am bringing to you Jackson. Don't call him that. His real name is his name is Jack. Phantasm, also known as uh, Negative Nancy, um, who is the delinquent. I was going to say, I almost forgot my playbook. Uh, speak. Yep, nope, have that open. Perfect. Haha. Uh, and uh, the most important thing that happened to him is the second kiss that he ever had. <laughs> Not the first one was lovely, the second one was out of spite. And that's the best way to have a kiss is to kiss someone out of spite and then realize how much you really like it. Um, because that's just uh, how things work in superhero land. Also, uh, just for flavor, I just happened to like turn the entire house into a rave when my emotions went off because you know, that's how oh, yeah. my powers work. They are emotions. It was so, the fact that the whole house just turned that iridescent pink, I died. Listen, I it died. Was, it was really gay. It was such mm -hmm. good gay yeah. content. <laughs> Pretty fucking gay. I love it. I love it. So, oh, man. Uh, however, uh, I do believe that the last place that we all were leaving ourselves off was two people were inside with Lorelai and Principal Grant. Mm -hmm. Duh. Grand. Duh. Grand. Duh. Ow. Listen, it's not me today. The Berenstain Bears. It's not me. <laughs> okay, Berenstain but to be Berenstain fair, Berenstain. I have seen it where there's an A there. Grand, and I just... grand mm -hmm. powers. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> well, it's uh, grand, right? It's grand. Uh, oh. Grand. D, with a D. Gr like a thousand grand, like a like the candy bar, or like a grand okay. marquee, or- uh, I feel like we should have a bonus for any time that we actually get the name right, then we get extra points on the channel, or the audience gets extra points. Like, that would be an amazing reward if there was a way to set that up. Technically, it's a hundred grand. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said a thousand grand for the candy bar. My bad. Sorry. You could probably be French about it, about it and just say grande, or <laughs> like- It'd be grand. It would be, they don't pronounce oh, the D, it'd be oh, grand. That is true. Grand. Like, yeah. Oh uh, God. Um, I had to do a French accent in a show and it was the worst. Yes, so uh, they're crying and- cry So Principal Grant, what would the Principal Grant yes. do? Uh, so Karai and Jojo were inside with Principal mm. Grand and with Lorelai and the others were outside and saw that the Aegis truck pulled up that looked similar to the truck that had shown up at GP's place. Yes. So that is where no. we found ourselves. No. No. Different. No, no, no. Oh, it was no. an unmarked Very black important. fan that Very showed up uh, at GP's place, but this one specifically says 
ages on the ages. side. Which I, did... I thought it was similar builds, but this one just had the branding. Yeah, the, I, I think one... it was like the exact same yeah. kind of like that's, black. That's, that's what I was saying. Van, is this one says ages. ages. Yeah. The three gentlemen are outside conversing about Operation Uncle Watch, not my best name, but I had like literally point <laughs> zero five seconds. Oh wait, yeah, that 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 was my big thing. I am yeah. now in charge of an operation. Yeah. Operation yeah. Uncle Watch. Uncle Watch. <laughs> I mean, if you want, you could really talk about like a better way to name that in the moment, um, because that one was a terrible name, I, and I hate it. I don't know. I what am I gonna like... name it? It, it? it describes the operation really well. It's to the point. Yeah, but operation like usually things are like What's operation. His villain name? We don't know. We don't Actually, Sanan, what is his villain name? I don't, I don't, oh, I don't uh, know. Is it yeah, I, I I I have it written somewhere. Oh God, we haven't really used my uncle's villain. Miss it at all that I uh, here we Luke. go something okay. with the the Greek pantheon villain something like no Professor Maybe? Gorgon or something was his uh, sidekick uh, Kronos Kronos right yes oh, that is true Kronos. Kronos real name Victor Damocles rogue member of the pantheon brother of Trident head of the villain group the Titan League ooh Operation Titan Watch. Operation Titan. That's Watch. a good there name. There we go. Wait, That's we a go. good ass Because I hated good. Uncle Watch. I thought it was the dumbest <laughs> name, but I had to come up with it. And like, I'm like, oh, it's... God, I have to make Jason really happy in this moment. And Honestly, I think Robbie is still a fan of uh, Uncle Watch. Uncle Watch yeah, but to be <laughs> fair, you're a fan of a lot of bad comedy. things. I mean. <clears throat> um, however, okay, but while so... we still have a moment, uh, Karai and uh, Jojo. Yes, Karai and Jojo. Not sure why I got stuck on people's names for a second there. Uh, what are you doing inside? Um, did you take a moment to like step away as Principal Grand is uh, watching over her daughter? Sanana will kill you. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, I feel like Jojo is sitting on the couch just like watching this whole thing, staying as close to Lorelai as possible. If Principal Grand says, hey, you need to back off, that's fine. But I think it's a mix of looking at Lorelai to make sure she's okay. And then looking to Karai with just a look of, oh my God, what am I going to do if she's hurt face? Because Karai and Jojo have reached the point of Karai fucking called it way before Jojo did. <laughs> and Jojo knows that Karai has much wisdom. Uh, <laughs> and if Karai being a little shit and just call shit out as she sees it. <laughs> yes. And knowing much of the world that Jojo does not, therefore she has much wisdom. <laughs> The three of you Anna. outside roll to take a powerful blow. Ooh, okay. That's bad. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, I just Jesus. straight up rolled a 10. Is, oh, is it something no. by very above my power or? Oh. Nope. Nope. Okay. This is Finally, a normal. Eight. I rolled okay. straight box cars on that. Yeah, so Buckler and Nancy. Uh, I will give Argonaut the chance right now, before knowing what's happening, if you would like to defend one of them, you can only choose one. Uh, if you would like to. Uh, because if you choose to defend someone, you're going to get the consequences they got. If you decide to save yourself, you will not have the same. I mean, I don't re even know what, what exactly is going on right now. That What am I, like, seeing? Someone's uh, fan. <laughs> Well, that's bad. So like my spidey senses are tingling that I see there's like a danger coming and I'm like- It's an Aegis van. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna make you upset. I thought Aegis was like superhero no. cops. We kind of figured out they're not though. Okay, <laughs> yeah. They have all those ties to dissonance and awe, yeah. I guess I'll, 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 I'll protect my brother. Okay. So you all watch as the door to the van opens taken completely aback, Nancy, and now Argonaut, you feel not necessarily ropes, but something constrict your entire body. Argonaut jumps in front of his brother to protect him, taking the attack, not attack, constriction is probably a better word, uh, instead. Roll one more time, both of you to take a powerful blow. That's a nine. Okay. So you're not knocked completely unconscious. I appreciate it. That's that. a five. Okay. So uh, you Experience. both feel this um, kind of like energy. It's not electricity per se, but that's probably the best way you can describe it is like getting 
sticking a fork in a in a light socket um, as it tases your muscles to in order to try and constrict them to keep you from using any of your powers. Uh, Nancy, you can't use your powers, but you don't pass out. Jason, this doesn't hurt you at all. <laughs> it tingles. So can I see actual... Is this nope. an invisible it's force? Dark van inside of a dark van. Got it. So, but like, what's affecting them is not also visible, correct? Oh no, it is. It's oh. very similar to what your uncle used—the handcuffs, but in a larger form. Great. Uh, <laughs> first of all, over the communicator, since I have like definitely full faculties, I'll let the other two know that we're under attack from an Aegis van. Uh, and then I would like to—I would like to essentially, can I take one of my bucklers and? since it's made of metal, use it to basically try and just um, ground. Like what I'd like to do is is kind of try and ground the wires here um, so that no electrical current is being brought through to my. Friend. So you're trying to like, what do you like, mean ground it? So what I what I would like to do is basically take the buckler and mm -hmm. so that it'll go into there first and then ground it. So if you're touching the metal buckler mm -hmm. to this electricity, it's going to go through you as well. Um, not if I throw it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> throw okay, it. here. How about this? Mm -hmm. I'll, what a, actually, better idea. How about I just try and sever them with my with my solid metal bucklers? I'd like to try and sever That's the wires. Better. <laughs> uh, I got you I got throw out there ideas. that like this thought process is the first time where I thought on Annie's side, wow, they definitely are related. <laughs> uh, why don't you roll to unleash your powers? Will do. Uh, that is an eight. Okay. So uh, I think, mm, do I want you to mark a condition or do I want you, do I want it to be unstable in some way? I think you're gonna mark angry. Okay, sounds good. Whose are you doing this towards? Your brothers or um, your lovers? Oh, we you haven't consummated anything. Like we that. are. <laughs> I'm saying you have to choose. Stickles. Uh, yeah. Stickles. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. To be fair, Jason, Jason, Jason seems to be okay, to be so I'll, I'll yeah. do. I'll do Nancy's. Sure. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> easy enough. Uh -huh. You can. I, I'm not going to say you can sever it because it's not. Mm, it's technically not like real rope or anything that's like severable. Mm -hmm. But I it will can't say, be cut. like, it can't not. Like... It's not like. It's not like wire. It's like energy. It's not oh. a thing mm. that can be cut. But you did roll like well enough wires. that it can affect. No, it's energy. Gotcha. Well, I, uh, we By can the... probably just say that it disrupted the signal or yeah. something. Yeah. By the way, Wibbly I had. I had enough potential to upgrade, and the last upgrade I picked was my the rest of my abilities, which is myth. Uh, armor, magic armor, and magic weaponry. Does that do anything? My armor? Uh, help Not me with that. what you rolled, no. <laughs> nope. well, you chose it... to defend your brother. Who got it? You made that decision. Yep. Um, when the electrical current stops. Well, hold on. Okay. You're about to enter a battle against a dangerous foe as a team. Oh, dear. So hey. we have to go into the team pool. Uh, who's the current leader of this group? Let's go. That, All right, Batman over there. I mean, I'm also the only one outside who's not in capacity. Annie, do you have influence over every member of the team? Yes. All right, so add one to the team pool. We're at three then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Annie, what's your purpose in this fight? Um, take down whoever's attacking us and figure Jack, out who they are. Jack, what's your purpose are? in this fight? Fuck up whoever's in that van. Jason, what's your purpose in this fight? Van gotta go. Mancer, what's your purpose currently when you just heard that you're being attacked by someone in an Aegis van? Uh, take care of the Aegis van so that no one gets hurt. Okay. Karai? Fuck some shit up. Okay, so you guys add another team. Hey. Does anyone mistrust Annie? No. 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 Okay. We've got past that. <laughs> of course, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Of course I trust Annie. He's part of Operation Titan Watch. <laughs> 
We yeah, renamed Uncle we, we Watch. We renamed, by the renamed way. Uncle Watch because it was a really yeah. bad name. I'm so no, sorry. I, heard that. I, I trust my subordinates. I was listening. I understand. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to say that your team is probably ill prepared and off balance since two of you were surprised. Yes. But we have three. So uh, you're going to remove a team. So you have enough to get someone out in case they fall unconscious. Uh, we're going to switch inside really fast to Jojo and Karai. You just heard uh, Annie say that you guys are being attacked. Uh, yeah. Immediately look to the principal and say, there's an Aegis van outside. We're under attack. Can we get her somewhere safe? Uh, and she kind of just nods and then brings Lorelai upstairs. Okay, we'll take care of that outside and come back in just a second. Um, and then looks to Karai. Ready? I'm all burned. And mm -hmm. Jojo stands up and, hey, GM, mm -hmm. how's Jojo doing right now? Because last time she fell unconscious and was really weak. And yeah, no, a lot everything's of... still kind of, I mean, you feel a little bit, it's been some time since, you know, you've done way too much to your body. Um, but it's still, everything still feels kind of, I wouldn't say you feel dizzy, but everything just feels off. Mm -hmm. Like everything just feels kind of. Spatial awareness is difficult for you right now. Mm -hmm. Just because everything is just slightly ever so off kilter. Would would you say also, you know how if you've exercised for the first time in a really long time, the next day you can get around, but like your muscles are shaking. Yeah. Doing the same kind of effort. Yeah. Okay. So just wanted to clarify. Awesome. Okay. So you see Jojo go to stand up and follow you, Karai, and just like takes a second and goes, Stood up too fast. Let's go. And goes out with you. So you guys currently step out to see Jack probably being able to get up currently because of uh, Buckler's disruption of whatever energy force this was. Uh, Jason is still constricted on the ground. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it tickles. Uh, and it's not physical energy, yes? You can see like and like red, like it's very similar to what happened with Lorelai and the handcuffs, where they handcuffed and then these like red wires of energy kind of constricted yes. her. It's the same mm -hmm. thing. I thought for, I, that's wondering... why I tried to ground them because I thought they were actual red wires. No, <laughs> no yeah. Uh, this so was. I'm wondering if I can summon a psychic construct to try and disrupt the chain. Just like yeah, pop one up. Go ahead and roll to unleash your powers. Yeah, absolutely. Give me one sec. Six plus three is nine. So, yeah. all right. Um, you're gonna mark a condition though. I'm gonna have okay. you mark. Do you have anything marked currently? Uh, no, I don't. All right, I think you're gonna mark afraid. That seems the most fitting. Well, yeah, I mean, Aegis has been the threat in her family since she was a and kid. And Lorelai is upstairs, funny. who you know, you don't, you can't actively protect right now. Yep. Yep. So, but she does, uh, she summons a psychic construct. It starts off just being, you know, translucent and then suddenly solidifies and firms up. Um, does that do anything? Yeah. Uh, cause you got a nine. It can disrupt the, the energy flow and Jason can get out of the constraints if he wishes. Yep. And just shouts, Jason, you okay? Uh, oh, what, what was that? Ah! Get up! We gotta get this van! Come on! Oh, oh yes! Uh. Uh, so, also, real quick, I, I did realize, I forgot, since I'm the leader, we get an extra team, so we do have an extra, we do have a bonus team kicking around mm -hmm. um, because I of Captain. So, I think at this point, I'm angry, which means I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go in the van and try and knock out the source of the tendrils. Okay, so you are rolled to directly engage a threat. I will do so. And since I am doing so, I will actually, because things got switched, uh, the Golden Prophet now denies danger. So I'm still rolling with danger, but I will clear angry after this. So that is a seven because mm -hmm. I plus one to my, because of plus one to danger and plus one because I'm the leader and I got a plus one my first ball. So seven. Okay, so you can. Resist or avoid their blows, take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies, or impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. Um, if I if I choose to take something from them, can that be the tendrils right now? Or is that not how that works? I mean, so it's the to your knowledge, the only mm -hmm. like 
two that they had to restrict are currently out on the ground. Right. Um, so you can choose to take those, but you're not really, that's not really something for me. I'll, I'll, I'll create an opportunity for my allies. Okay, so describe what you do. You you get into the um, van and see six of those kind of like zombie like creatures that Nancy saw before outside of Golden gotcha. Prophets. Well, then what I would like to do is, first of all, I want to have basically jetted into the van with my jetpack and use the. What I want to do is is use the inertia to slam into one to knock them to the ground and hopefully mm -hmm. shake the van to keep yeah. to like to knock all of them off balance so that they're basically there's a big opportunity. Easy enough. You guys all see as uh, Buckler jets justice. into the van, which is like 15 feet away. He shouldn't have needed to jet into this van. And then you just all watch as Come the on. van kind of tips over onto two wheels and then rocks back. And Before it, it could rock back, it, can I take this opportunity to get up and uh, use some of my new powers as a... Yeah. Uh, do I just describe my new weaponry or... Yeah. So the age, uh, the the um, Argo glows with like bright yellow light and uh, a big shield forms in my left hand and a big, um, since, since it says magic weaponry, I'm assuming I get whatever <laughs> weapon mm -hmm. I want, uh, a big hammer on my right hand. And I just, before it could even tip back, I use my super speed to sm slam on the side of the car to completely tip it over with my hammer and shield. So Annie, as you yes. are in this van, you feel it begin to tip backwards and what should, you know, replace back on all four oh. wheels. Instead, you go crashing forward back, carrying that momentum that you originally had, uh, going ass over tea kettle, just yeah. straight into the side of the van. I already rolled, it's a 12. Oof. You didn't need to roll, I was just gonna let you do it. <laughs> there you it still go. feels nice. Um, okay. And so and so in this van, is it just the six like mm -hmm. zombie things? Where do, do I see a source of the of the like tendril things? I mean, it's it's like hard tech. It's not magic, it's not got powers. It. It's, it's not it's hard powers, tech. it's tech. Okay, yeah. got it. Um, okay. Sounds like I'll let other people do things first. I can react to this. Uh, I would like to assess the situation really fast. Sure. Go ahead and roll. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Yay! That's a 13. Okay, ask your three questions. Uh, number one, uh, are there other assailants slash villains around besides this fan? Not currently, no. Um... Are these actual, because I, I know that they're zombies, but are, is this like actual Aegis zombies or like people who just happen to have commandeered an Aegis? People who happen to commandeer an Aegis van. Cool, 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 cool. And, uh, would those tendrils work on awe? Yes, but not for long. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Um, and I will just, uh, shout to both. I'll show to everyone. Get whatever made those tendrils. He's just like rubbing his arms because he doesn't have any powers at the moment. He's still waiting for them to come back online. Uh, Got your powers shocked out of you. Yeah, it was not fun. I don't like it. I do it to other people. I don't want it done to me. <laughs> I dislike. I I'm, dislike this. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a shock power top. Lord. Though when you're looking around, Nancy, you can see that there are the similar, like, handcuffs mm -hmm. that um, Jason and Annie's uncle had on the ground from where you were. Ooh. You can kind of put two and two together that those are what did it to you. Cool. Well, I'm just going to hold on to those. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, that's me. I'm, I'm going to let uh, some of these super-powered folks mm. go. <laughs> so, uh, just real quick, can, we just, can I just get, like, sorry, my processing has been very slow all week can i just get like a quick review of like w what's going on in this scene yeah so uh annie flew into the van almost yeah. knocked it over but when it would turn to knocking over jason powered it over so now it's on its side okay uh, and that's basically all that's happened uh jack has just picked up some uh electric handcuffs is basically what okay. they are 
and he mentioned something. He yelled at us to find something about tendrils. Yeah, whatever was causing it, but I have the pro- I have what was causing the issue. Okay. Oh, I have right. a very, very um, ignorant question. What are tendrils? Oh, uh, the little like uh, basically just like tasers, like the the wire part okay. from the tasers. Okay, because my was. mind goes to tentacles for some reason. Uh, uh, not guess... far off. You're not far <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. I guess if we have everything that we want from the vent, what I guess I would want to do is I want to kind of jet out from the the sideways van now. Mm-hmm. And can I just kind of can I close the van door and try and like get some of my nanobots to just like basically weld the door shut so they're just trapped inside this box? World to unleash your powers. I would love to get into it. That's a full 10. Yeah, easy enough. What does it look like? Um, So you see, uh, like, uh, again, like this van just got punted to the side and just fell on the side to it onto its side and then just out of the straight up um, buckler will fly out and then land, slam the door shut. And then um, from the like kind of more futuristic looking armor a bunch like it looks like some of it just peels off and goes around the side of the um door and just like there's like that classic superhero like as like it's just welded shut and kind of seals the zombies inside cool so you now have one welded shut aegis van Mm -hmm. okay so question for all of you what do we do now? Because I'm getting real tired of being followed around by creepy vans. First, Take I want to make... Sh- <clears throat> no, go ahead. No, go ahead. I... Try, I was just going to make a stupid joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, go upstairs, make sure Lorelai's okay, and then... After that, um... I don't know if they're going to stop following us. I do not believe it is likely. How did they find us? A roll a situation on that, please? <laughs> yeah, can, can we all try and piece this yeah. together? Well, yeah. we didn't we? Well, actually, we know that they can track Lorelai. I thought yeah. they could track uh, Shock. In, not uh, that's Lorelai, an, too. Oh, oh, right, that's shock. an 11 for okay. Joe. That is a... Uh, Oh wait, no, that would be rolled to unleash your powers. I'm sorry. That's a that's a that's nine an for Jason as he was asking this question. Mm-hmm. Is anyone else rolling? I have a twelve. I'll leave it. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is doing that thing. I think uh Buckler's focusing on making sure the van's secure. Yeah. So how did they uh so uh Detective Jason on the case? <laughs> yeah, Jason, remember that necklace that you stole from Shock a while ago? Mm. I, what Bingo happened Bongo. With that? You still have it. I still have it. Okay. Oh. What's this thing vibrating in my... Technically, oh. uh, Jack, you can ask one more question because you rolled above a nine. Okay. Um, so Technically, know- two more because of your thing. So uh, I know that they can track his. Can they track the one that I have? The one that you gave back to Principal Grand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, it's this thing. I think I remember taking it from Shock, but then you all said I was a villain, and then I kind of like forgot about it. I guess it's a. Uh... Should I break it? Potential villain in an alternate timeline, but remember that we don't want to break those because once it breaks, it's not like it, the power goes back to the original owner. It just goes away. Oh yeah. Other. So what do we do it with it. I also have a question. Mm-hmm. Um. Is there a way that we can mask the tracking of this device? You can. The only person who might be able to is Annie, and that would be very difficult. Wait a second. I have an idea. It's risky, though. I mean, I've found relics in other worlds, I could potentially hide it someplace I'm more familiar with that all might not be able to get to. At least for a little bit, just so we can make sure that everything's okay and we can take a breath and figure out a game plan. Couldn't all travel between worlds? Like, uh, can I can I use my question to ask that? Do I think all could get there? 
Oh. I mean, it really depends, but you've seen awe in multiple different planes, so yeah, probably. And if awe can't dissonance, we could probably gain, so. Then I think she gets excited, proposes the idea, Jason poses that, and then she realizes, yeah. But... Sorry, I don't mean to be a buzzkill. Just... No, no, it's good that we're thinking this through. This is what we need to be doing right now. So it's a good thought. Just because I think it, these are being tracked and we do not want to leave them alone does not mean we cannot put them somewhere we are not. We could set a trap or put these in a place that it is simply highly unlikely or improbable that these different assailants could get to them. What trap would work on awe? Well, awe is not sending themselves directly yes. to retrieve these objects. So if, if the trap is just for zombies, what's good is that? Right? No? Yeah? Hey, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you watch as, like, uh, Jack goes over to the van and, like, climbs on the side of it and looks inside. Mm -hmm. I was having a similar thought. Uh, do any of the faces look familiar? I'll just assess the situation. Cool, cool. That would be a nine, and I'm going to use one team selfishly to make it a ten. Okay. Yeah, uh, they all... From at least the general knowledge of the villains around the city, at least three of them look very familiar. So uh, Jack turns back to everybody. She has hundreds of these zombies. We well, at least we figured out where all of their brain goo should go. Oh gosh, mm. how could we possibly? get all of them at the same time. I mean... Uh, uh, unless we set a trap this, yeah. for her and or them? How many are in this... Um, how many are in this band? Six. Six? Okay. Um, and we left like 30-something back at GPs. Yeah. I have, I have a, a proposal... One thing that we still have not addressed that may alleviate these vans from following us is there is still an egg on the moon. So mm -hmm. you're saying we go get that first and reassess? We could even... Uh, it will at the very least prevent us from being followed, and if we take both necklaces, leave our allies without any trackable objects, assumably. Okay. Well, that's that's what I was saying, is if I take it to a different plane, Oz's still going to be able to find us, but it might right. put a delay time on it at least, so that's something. Yeah, I agree. Although, if we take it with us to the moon, we at least can, are still there to protect it if Oz does somehow follow us to the moon. Okay, so let's do that. Um, and as this plan is made, Jojo like, looks over her shoulder back at the door. You I'm need gonna... to retrieve the necklace that the principal has. If this, um, yeah, was... I, I can, I can go yes, ask. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, and Jojo's gonna wave and go inside the house. So just between the four of us, how are we getting to the moon? I have a spaceship. Looks, looks to cry. Cool. Just want to make sure that was the that was the plan because she looks worn the fuck out. <laughs> I'm hoping also that maybe there will be some. Some and the four of you really fast roll to pierce the mask for me. Ooh, oh dear. Ooh, four. The oh, four that's... of you who are outside. Currently. Eleven. Whoa, that's that's a, hey! that's a thirteen. Look at you all. Hey, Damocles, bros. 11. That is a that is an eleven. Actually, twelve. Okay. Um. Six. Okay, so the three of you. Uh, have noticed that as Jojo is getting more and more tired, you can also begin to see what looks like galaxies forming on the palms and the backs of her hands, and it's kind of like veining up her arms. Um, that definitely wasn't there before. Uh, you kind of started noticing it when you were at your uncle's house, and more so now that you're here. Did she maybe take a... Uh... 
a, a rest? Should Perhaps Joshua take a rest? During maybe? the flight between Earth and the moon might be a good opportunity. Isn't flight between Earth and moon? I mean, I'm basing this off of movies I've seen. Uh, isn't that usually a very tiring thing, even though you're sitting down? Like, it's like a big... Well, like, uh, that's in human spaceships. I have an alien spaceship, so... Let's find out, I guess. That we need to figure out how it works, and I kind of pull out my little Indeed. pod that the spaceship's in. I also don't know how big it actually is. So maybe we should um let us maybe find an open space. Let's go mm. yeah, let's not be in the suburb when indeed <laughs> we make this happen. Like okay. Well, just let's make sure they are they're okay. Jojo, roll to assess the situation for me as you go inside. Yeah, absolutely. Nice hammer, by the way, dude. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't know this I could do this. It's a new thing. That's it's a sex. Uh, so as you make your way upstairs, as you begin searching from room to room, and it's almost like they disappeared. There is no trace of them being there at all. Excuse me? There is no trace of them being there at all. I would like to portal, please. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no! Cool. Oh, boy. Uh, in your current state, you are overexerting yourself. Yep. Uh, so Jojo starts off just like one room, two room. This is in a house that she has explored a ton. And then as she goes through and realizes that the house is completely silent, um, does it look like any kind of struggle happened here or anything? With a six, you can't tell. Okay. Uh, That's then a she, failure. She looks through the rooms frantically and realizes that Lorelai may have been captured or something again. And also the principal isn't here. And she she portals. I, okay. I need to be where Lorelai so is. So mark your doom track. Yep. Uh, this would be marking it twice because not only am I portaling, but also I'm overexerting myself. Mm -hmm. How we doing on that doom track, huh? Uh, <laughs> at two more to my final doom sign before the. Uh... Yeah, that's about right. Yep. That's about that's about fair. And I don't uh, think she's noticed the shit on her hands yet. Um, you portal, and you are yeah. in a very cramped, very dark kind of dingy it's kind of like a crawl space but not exactly like a crawl space it's clear that this was built with the exact purpose of keeping someone safe okay and you uh, when you portal you are like cheek to cheek with principal grand it is that small of a space oh uh i hmm. deeply apologize i did not realize that you should um, not have been able to do that. And she, you can see her, like, kind of run her hand up a wall and these, like, glowing glyphs follow her fingers. Is this, like, anything I've seen used on the technology that Blink and I have worked on? It's not or... technology. Ooh, like any of the runes on relics I have found that are magical? Mm, probably. Okay. Uh, you can notice that the... Actually, like... Okay. <laughs> Those were That's fine. That I did even yeah. worse than last mm. time. Never, never mind. Uh, there is shiny. I I look at it and just her eyes light up and she goes, "Where is that from?" And Principal Grand like immediately like wipes the other direction so they all kind of fade out and just none of your business kind of away. <laughs> and I look and Lorelai is with us too. Yep, still passed out. Is she gonna be okay? She'll be fine. Can you restore her memory at all, or? Well, if I, you know, had time before someone came knocking at my door with an Aegis van, perhaps I could, uh, could do so. So it can't be instantaneous like what you did with us? Unfortunately not. Okay. We're about to, we think they're tracking the necklaces. We're going to take them to the moon that's not a joke um i know that you said from the start of this that you didn't want us getting involved and you wanted other people to take care of it um i also told jackson straight forward that if he goes to the moon it will be the worst mistake he has ever made why you will die without a doubt especially if you bring those necklaces 
And why is that? If Listen. you bring those necklaces to the moon, how do I put this? And she'll like kind of like put Lorelai down a little bit and like grab your wrist and kind of like dig her nails in just a little bit. <laughs> the same powers you have here will be altered there. How is that? What What do you mean? She has dominion over the moon. So if we go there, we are putting ourselves in a more vulnerable situation. You are situation. walking straight into her home. Okay. Thank you for letting us know. I didn't know that. And then she'll grab the necklace and hand it to you and, like, close it in your palm. This one, specifically, could help you win. But if you use it, you will self-destruct. Uh, that goes for anyone who uses it. And as much way? as it would... You will cease to exist um, in a not pleasant way. You will go out in <laughs> a blaze of glory. And she kind of chucks to her, chuckles to herself just a little bit. And I fully guarantee that if you tell Jackson this, he won't believe it and he will try to use it. Please don't no, let him. No, I know. I know. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can make sure that people don't know what is in this thing and don't touch it. Um, it might be your only way to win. And then you see her like put her hand over yours and this faint blue glow fades from her palm into the amulet itself. World what assess she, the situation. Yeah, what did she do? I don't know, you gonna roll another five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually did roll another five. Wow, wow, boy shiny howdy. Blue, shiny blue light is shiny. I, I mean, I know that powers go into this thing. I assume mm -hmm. she put a power of some sort into this thing, but I don't know mm. which power. Mm. So what did you just put in there? And she'll just kind of sigh. And I need you to roll to, mm, do I want you to take a powerful blow or defend yourself? Because technically, I mean, defend someone. I'm gonna have you take a powerful blow. Roll plus conditions. That's an eight. Cool. So I'll give you two choices. You can let her do what she was about to do uh, without taking any kind of condition or harm, or you can resist whatever she's about to do, stay in this place with her and Lorelai, but gain uh, a condition and some more, uh, mark one more on your doom track. I hate that she doesn't doesn't just fucking talk to us. Nope. I just wanted to talk to her. Nope. Um, no, she's given us so much information. We now know that it's dangerous as fuck to go to the. I need more information, and I'm not leaving Lorelai okay. before I have answers. I'm. I'm cool. Mark one more on your doom track. Yeah, that's fine. You can feel your body begin to kind of like fade out of existence, but you fight it and push yourself to remain on this plane. You felt the kind of like a plane shift before. It's not exactly that feeling, but it's similar. Okay. Uh. So here's what happens in the narrative. Uh, that she starts to feel herself fade out of existence, pushes against it, grabs the other wrist of Principal Grand and like pushes it against the wall and finally says, look, yes, I know we're younger than you. Yes, I know that we have a lot that we are figuring out and a lot that we have messed up, but we are not going to stop this world from getting destroyed and we are not going to be able to finish this without your help. And I want you and her and everyone else to be okay. So please, could you just help us? 
Uh, Not with this trying to send me other places. When you, and I want to pierce the mask. Okay. I, I want to know why the fuck she always is so shady with us. And okay, roll does, the pierce the mask. Yeah. What what do I add? What do I add? Mundane. Uh, that's a z- ten. Okay. Ask three of those wait, questions. Wait. Ask pause. three questions about her. No, that's an eight. Ask two questions. Oh no, ask one. Okay. Um. Can I ask any question? Mm-hmm. It has to be about her. Or I'll let you expand it to Lorelai too. Why? Why doesn't she trust us with this? Like, why Why does she never answer she's, our questions? She's trying to, the less you know, the less likely you are to die. So she figures that out and just whispers, I know that, I know you think by not giving us information it's going to protect us um that's how i grew up too my parents thought that by not knowing things about the world and me that i would be safe and things would be better but it has caused a lot more pain and us not knowing things we were about to go to the moon and you just told us that is a death sentence and we aren't going to get what we need To be fair, I told Jackson that when he called me. Good to know. Um, Just sometimes it's hard to hear things that are dangerous. But if we don't have the full picture, there's no way we're going to succeed. There's no way we're going to win. We're going to have a much better shot of saving I everyone and you're going to be much you safer. You can win. I don't think anyone can win. But you wanted my help and she'll grab like the am- your hand with the amulet again and she'll look you dead in the eyes. And that is exactly what I gave you. My help. What do you think the next step needs to be? If it's not going to the moon and it's not going to get the uh, other eggs, what is the next step? Get away from here. Let New Atlantis fall and try and stay safe. And are you going to stay? We'll find our way. No. I'm not letting you guys, I'm not letting you give up that easy, especially on her. I'm not giving up on her. I'm by saying that safe. there's no way by saying there's no way to win this fight by not using your powers to help us win this fight you are conceding and you are putting her in direct danger you have to realize that and this jojo is why i didn't want you all of you looking into this in the first place you were just going to let everything end Sometimes it's better to not fight when you know you can't win. You know what? We are. I will make sure of it. But I need you to promise me something right now. I don't... I don't give a shit... if you think we're going to win or not, but you are going to protect her to every last inch of your life. And if you have a way to restore her memories, you're going to do it. Okay? She's my daughter. That was the plan in the first place. Where are we? Uh... Mm, she can't do that anymore. Uh, under my house. Very, perhaps uncomfortably close to the Earth's core. Okay. Uh, 
I'll be back. I hope you will be. Prove me wrong. Jojo takes the necklace and she is going to put it on and tuck it underneath her clothes so that no one else on her team can see it. And she's she put going... it on? She puts it on. Roll to take a powerful blow. Okay. That's a uh, eight. Cool. So you can feel as soon as you put it on this like pulse of just power radiate through you you feel completely different. Like, it's almost like you're dissociating where you can like see yourself outside of yourself and you're just functioning like that right now. Wow. There's a shit ton of power in that necklace. Yeah. And Jojo smiles. I'm going to take a real quick five minute break because I need a real quick five minute break. So we'll be right back, guys. Mm -hmm. Stick around. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a couple smaller breaks instead of one bigger break today, I think is what's going to happen. So yeah, Mm -hmm. stick around. We'll be right back.
Hi everyone, and welcome Oh, oh, back. I'm sorry, hold on. Could you all turn your cameras off real fast besides Anna? <laughs> I'm so sorry, did not mean to scare you like that. And then Rob. Then Marissa, then, then Sanan. Sorry, no, please go, my bad. Welcome back to Hero Complex. Um, yeah, so we're gonna pick back up with all of you who are outside. <sighs> Okay, uh, it's been a, hmm. quite a bit of time since JoJo went in to go get the <laughs> thing. Uh, so I'm just going to look at everyone and just like, okay, so apparently she got lost, so let me go inside to find her. Indeed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, is she okay? So head inside. I'm guessing everyone's following me? Yeah. Cool. Oh, God, I can also make a sword, too. Look at this. That is very neat. <laughs> I am life. so proud of you. Spear. Oh, <laughs> a Swiss Army Thank you. weapons. Um, we see not. We don't see a JoJo or a yeah. Principal Granda. I will. Or I. JoJo, are you? Are you, have you been captured in any way? Are you? What is your current status? Uh, I'd like to portal back into the bathroom of the house, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna send. Just give me a minute, and then she just pushes the uh, knob and you hear the toilet flush and she oh. washes her hands and then I think does she see the hand thing finally mm -hmm. um, so she looks at her hands uh, just kind of freezes for a second and then pulls on the gloves that she normally wears as Mancer um, and walks out of the bathroom yeah I was just using the bathroom my apologies I believe this is a Faux pas. Did you get yeah. the amulet? Uh, yeah, we're good. Understood. Then onwards to the moon. Uh, actually, um, when I talked to, so, um, the principal's just taking care of Lore, um, but she said that, um, the moon is Oz domain. Wait, Oz domain? Doesn't she have, like, one under the ocean? Sorry, see? Apparently, she has a lot of power and influence there, and the principal said if we go there, it's kind of a suicide mission. Great, we're fighting a moon goddess now. Um, all right. Mm. So, I, I'm how, just, did, how I'm did just... she like just suddenly found all the, the like? How did Odd gather this much power without any of the heroes noticing? Like all these years, she has a place in the sea, like like you said, on the moon. I don't know, honestly. I believe probably the same way that any villain was ever able to do anything. They just weren't there and they were, she was smart enough to hide it. Uh, I believe that mm, Jason, if we are Yes? Call your mom. What? Call your mom. Is, okay, why? Is she? Cry. Is there a reason why she call wouldn't be dad. okay? No, call yeah. Mystic. Call Mystic? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, we were just at their house. Um, I'm gonna call Mystic and... Both of you roll 2d6. It, it, it's ringing. Eight. Oof. Four. Ah, oh, wait, do I... Up. Um, hey, Mom, uh, can you, can you, can you message me back or, or call me back when you get this? Okay. Uh, Love you. How you many know, heroes are still out there? Like, out there. My grandmother was there this morning, but she is retired. Um, to be fair, Mystic could be performing. Um, he, like, that was, it was a work night. Uh, you know what? Let me call my dad and see if Mystic is there. I would like to call my dad. Roll 2d6. Seven. Nope. No answer. Really quick, can I just check my phone? Sure. What are you looking for? Uh, trying to figure out if I have any like missed calls or notifications or anything. Nope. Okay, great. That's a relief. Puts it back in my pocket. Guys, I'm. I'm gonna go to the club. We're going to the club. Bye. Club? <laughs> like, yes, I'm I'm going to my dad's club. Oh. Oh. Maybe it. Understood. Should we go with you? 
want, but I'm just saying what I'm doing, you don't have to follow me, but I'm going to go. Because Splitting up, I think, is a poor bad choice. idea right now. Let's just all go at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys make your way there. It's not nighttime, I believe. I believe you guys are still... I keep calling my mom as we go, by the way, just to see if she picks up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, I am, like, so mixed up on my days. When we were at Mystic's house, that was the day before, right? Yes. Okay. It might have been two. Okay. Um... Okay, then I might make a different decision if it's not nighttime. I might go to see if Mystic is just home and sleeping, and if my dad is home. Because I haven't been home in about three or four days either. Mm -hmm. um, None of you guys really yeah. have. Um, so I'm going to go check on my dad first, and then I'm going to check on Mystic. Also, um, speaking of, I think I would like to see if I can hack into the Damocles household camera, see if I can see if uh, the mom is still home. Right. Um, roll 2d6 for me. Actually, Funny. roll to unleash your powers. We'll do that. An instead. eleven. Yep. Also, um, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I was just gonna say, Annie, um, the 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 bots in our uncle's place is is the Operation Titan Watch yielding any results? Has has uh, my uncle left for the thing that we agreed he was mm, going to? Yes. Cool. Good. Uh, but yeah, with an 11, easy enough, you uh, can get into the cameras in the damn good household and it's silent. Your mom is not there. She's not home. She's gone. Uh, are you guys all going with Karai to yeah, her dad's together, house? I, guess. I suppose so, but on the way there, just saying, so what kind of club is it? Um, it's, it's a gay club. It's a gay club, yeah. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. My my dad is a drag queen and Mystic is a drag king. Oh, was oh. that your that dad got into that uh, the, the, the 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 costume or the the clothes that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Sometimes he just dresses up. In, he just cross dresses because it's fun. He just does whatever he wants. He's what do you? Um, I am confused. What does the aerodynamic nature of Mystic and your father have to do with the royal lineage? Oh, oh, you have no oh, idea what that is. Oh, you don't know. We'll oh, talk about yeah. that after we Annie, say the Annie and JoJo just both look <laughs> like, uh, what? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, I, I, I don't know either. Uh, oh my god, none of I, us know what that means. Yeah. I have, I, my, my popular... Like... Do, do clubs have royalty? That's kind of cool. I never been to my, one. Except my... for that one when we went with the... Uh, yeah. Oh my god. My so... popular media content has been... I've been watching high school movies primarily to try and garner... How about this? To I don't know what clubs. club, club uh, royalty is, but th th those clothes are awesome. H how about this? If we yes. save the world, I will get you all in for one night. And you can all understand what it is. is. Why one? Will that would be will then we be knighted? Is that how this works? You are gonna I have mean, a great 18, time. It's, yeah, it's an 18 club. The two of you shouldn't have problem getting in. I never okay. have. I had bar back sometimes there. Um <clears throat> like it just not, be like Jojo it, and Sanan we'd have to worry about getting fake yeah, IDs for. Uh Jimmy hang on guys. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Who's Sanan? Per I don't know. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sounds like a cool person. Uh so yeah, but anyways, hold on. Let me just give you an up understanding of what being a drag mm -hmm. king and a drag queen is. So it just like pulls up an image of both Michael Mystic and Karai's dad. This is them normally. <sighs> and this is what drag is. So, like royalty <laughs> has like a superhero <laughs> costume change too? No, no, no. That's awesome! No. Well, no. we know that they are supers, and is, that is their one is of... no, So wait, if you're that. royalty and then you're also super, you have like multiple. Isn't or that what you, you are? Aren't you royalty and super? 
Yep. Oh, that's true. Guys, guys. So it works for friends, my oh. my loves. I care deeply about all of you. Uh, when you're gay, sometimes you just decide that you want to look like the opposite gender, but you take it mm. to like the fur furthest extreme that you can. I mean, there's various various different forms of drag actually, but this is like very traditional drag. Right, like there's fish, and just like put Karai's dad in like a form of fish track. <laughs> see how, <laughs> see how like very, very feminine, very not overstated. Like pretty mm -hmm. much could be a woman fish. Yeah. Here's what club kids look like. <laughs> just the ridiculous, the like over the top, absolute abstract outfits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so now you kind of understand why I the just dress in whatever's available without mm -hmm. any notion to gender because I have this as the people, as the adults in my life. It's cool. I think it's fine. Like, I, I have no issues. Um, I'd live in baggy sweat clothes and crop tops for my entire life if I could. Um, I feel like that's but, not a good thing, but anyways. But yeah, so it's it's a play on it, it's it's a play and a critique it's a performance art on gender expression that's what drag is that's what my dad does so interesting that's cool oh wait so so um jack the the time when we went to the store and the, the cameras caught mm -hmm. so we were doing drag yes well that's I, you weren't doing drag you were just being you were dressing up okay because had i actually like really put you in drag that would uh -huh. be a completely different thing you're very broad in the shoulders so like we'd have to really pad those hips out oh yeah listen i if, don't understand if, what if that means but um i will show you my mom. friend <laughs> so this is why don't we go to the okay yeah this is jason as normal right in order to make you you know give the fantasy you know give us I the just illusion look, and you just I like look at Mark, the, look fan at the fantasy, fantasy like just widens out the hips on the illusion oh yeah it just like yeah we'd have to really just get a lot of stuffing in there oh uh, yeah i need you to know that the whole time this is going on um jojo has been trying to figure out how to get rid of a bunch of the parental locks on her phone so that she can <laughs> finally install the browser and look up <laughs> images of drag queen and drag king just to like read wikipedia articles and it's not working and she's getting very frustrated seeing this <laughs> uh annie will kind of come over and say i've already been and like pulls out like the pda like the the ipad like device yep, and, and there's just like, just like there's tabs upon yeah. tabs like yeah we're just like researching like interesting interesting oh, yeah, annie, it, and, annie and jojo research things the same way yeah it, absolutely it appears that sometimes yep. they race themselves against each other i, I, I go behind them and watch <laughs> as well from their screens i can like, literally put on a drag right. show like right here on my own and they're going to goddamn wikipedia whatever i'm useless mm. who, who cares illusion i am literally the god of illusion right. and i can't even um so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna like lift Shh, myself this video up. Is so on, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna lift myself up slightly on like ice and I'm so I'm like as tall as Nancy and I'm just gonna like pat him on the back. I just, <laughs> like, I just feel like it's all right. So okay. disrespected. I know. Like here we are just trying to lead them into these babies into queer world and okay. yeah. Like, as, so and then mom and dad, we're, I know. There's I think there's one particular picture that as they're scrolling, Jojo just stops and goes, wait, 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 go back, go back. And then we scroll back to a picture and Karai, you may not be behind the tablet, but as you're having this conversation with Jack, mm -hmm. you see Jojo's face go flush red. And then she zooms in a little on the picture and just nods and goes, okay, you can keep scrolling. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What what nothing. <laughs> nothing. No, it's fine. Like, what, what, what is it? We, we like zoomed blush? in on so, the picture. The picture yeah. was Kira Knightley in like <laughs> the full like bun with a tuxedo yeah. and cummerbund and suspenders and bow tie. And then she, like the next pictures were just a bunch of women in like suits. 
and Jojo just going, oh, this is an option. <laughs> oh, that's totally an option. I mean, we can totally redo your wardrobe if the world is saved because this is not mm-hmm. going to do. It's just not going to. You should probably become super soon. What? Indeed. Y- you oh. are. Um, yes. I can change before we go. Yeah, that would probably be that... really a good idea. That seems okay. like a. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one sec. Mm hmm. Um, so you all notice she put gloves on, right? Indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am unsure what this means, but I do not think it is good. Oh. And also, I thought that was like powers manifesting in some. Is that not good? I didn't notice. Wait, what? Why is she putting on gloves? Oh, uh, it it would seem that her power is overtaking her at the moment oh. on her hands and. Uh, yeah, that's Should, not. Shouldn't she really be resting? Like, like. More to the point, there's a couple of things that were a bit strange about that situation. If you all noticed, Principal uh, Grant wasn't in that house. Oh yeah, no, totally not in that house. And Jojo lied to us to an extent. Like, people when they existed hey why 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 would why would jojo lie about principal grant i that is a great question should we ask her like she wasn't lying when she said that the moon was a bad place to go that was that was true um but i mean you can't fake urinating around me I would also just like to point out that uh, she was very, very vague on some, on something. Which one? Uh, Which? The, the, the amulet, the necklace, whatever we want to call that thing. Mm, yeah, I think she froze. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, one of our friends' uh, computer crashed, so we're hoping um, to get her back shortly. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Annie. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I go? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just, y- I'm you're just in, the in the middle. Hey, what up? I'm like half and half. Uh, A Power Ranger. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so just give us a moment to get back. Uh, Narissa as mm-hmm. well. Um, I think what I'll do is I think I'll just send it to intermission for a second and then I'll come back yeah. once uh, nurses come in. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Uh, just dealing with some technical issues. See you in a second. I to play as Annie for a little bit. I was going <laughs> to stay late.
change our cameras real quick? Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, so we're going to be ending the stream here. Uh, currently, we're just, uh, some people are just not feeling very well, and we just kind of need to hopefully come back when everyone is feeling uh, a lot healthier uh, and ready for stream time. So join us back next Sunday as we uh, continue along this lovely path with all of our heroes. Um, I think that we don't really need to go around the group really quickly because that we don't really have to worry about endgame stuff. So I just want to say thank you for joining us for today. I hope that we've at least entertained you for the, for the time that we've had you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.